Hi, my name is Courtney Hollyfold. I am a student in EDN 310 at the University of South Alabama. And um, for my final project, I'm going to show you how to make an interactive poster through Glogster. Um, there are many benefits of Glogster, um, such as one, it's free, and everybody loves that. And it's also um, useful for class projects or research projects. And it's also really fun. I've re enjoyed um, playing around with this website. So um, uh, we're going to get started, and where you're going to start at, it, at is edu.glogster.com. And um, you'll create an account um, with um, a, a username and a password, and uh, that'll um, get you logged in and you can get started. So first I'm going to go to is create new glog. Okay, and now um, it has loaded you to the page to where you're going to make your interactive poster. And um, if you see, as you see on the sides, this is all the things that you can um, put on your poster. You can put graphics, text, images, video, sound, data, and you can draw on it and you can change the background. And um, today's project is going to be on dolphins. And it helps make the process a lot faster if you go ahead and save your information, your pictures, and your videos um, to a document or on your computer, just so you don't have to go and search through the internet and stuff to find what you want to put on it. So we're going to get started. I'm going to go to wall to change the background. Um, and down on the sides, it has different categories of backgrounds you can pick. And I'm going to um, go to pets. And I think I like this one with the clouds since it's blue and dolph and I think that'll go well with it. So I'm gonna click use it. And it, as you see it already changes uh, the background to the clouds. Um, next I'm gonna go to video. I have um, actually already uploaded a video of dolphins from YouTube and um, you'll just click on that and you click use it. But if you haven't already uploaded it, you can go right here upload and it'll take you to the process or you can just um, copy and paste a link and submit it right here but um, I've already uploaded mine so I'm going to click this and click use it and it adds it right down here um, next I'm going to go to images and um, same thing you can um, upload an image you can add a link to an image but I've already um, added mine so I'm just going to click use it for that one and it goes right down here and I'm going to click use it for that one also and it'll be in the same image same spot next I'm going to go to text and they have a bunch of different categories of decorated text boxes you can choose from and I think I'm going to go to um to basic no I'm going to go to cute and see what they have um you can just skim through the different um boxes and Let's see what else there is. I think I like this one with the bubble. Um, you click use it and it adds it on your poster. Let's see what else. I'm going to go to this page. Um, and I mean it doesn't really matter what it, what it looks like. I mean if you want it to look a certain way then it can look however you want to. It doesn't have to be like all one color or anything. Let's see what other... We'll go with this blue one. Oh, I like that one. So I'm going to click use it. And I'll add it down there. Um, and let's do that one too. Okay. And now we're going to go to graphics. And you can add um, any little graphics you want. They have the categories down here. And I think I like that one. It kind of looks like a little wave. And add that. And, and add this cool thing right here. So once you've get all the you've gotten all the information that you want to add, you can um, exit out of that right there and move that to the side. And now you can um, adjust all, where you want all of your pictures. Um, I'm going to start off with my video and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to get um, my text box and put it up here. And if you want to delete anything, all you have to do is click on it 
and there's a trash can right there, and it'll remove it. Um, I'm going to put text box right there, another one right there, and I've got picture here, picture there. And I'm just going to play around with it because you can um, move, it, move your stuff pretty much anywhere. And if you want to make um, any of the pictures bigger, all you do is click on the image, and you go to the corner, and you can make it bigger and resize it, or you can make it smaller. I'm going to make that one bigger. Make this picture bigger too, or this graphic bigger too. Um, I'm going to move this down here. And um, now when you're ready to um, add text to your text boxes, once you've gotten um, it how you want it, all you do is go to edit and um, you can delete that and start adding your text and I actually have already um, added some facts about dolphins in a word document so I'm going to um, click over here on my document and just copy and paste them and um, it has my facts right there um, I wrote that uh, dolphins can be uh, pink, gray, brown, or white um, dolphins can live in all oceans of the planet and even some important rivers. And um, let's see what other facts I have. I'm going to add this one. I'm going to paste it. And um, I learned this today that a group of dolphins is actually called a pod. So once I'm done adding text here, I just click OK. And that's saved. Um, I'm going to resize this one and edit, and I'm going to add some text in this bubble also. I'm going to go back to my Word document and see what other facts I have saved. Um, I'm going to copy and paste this one. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to paste it. And um, you can... I mean, You can go to this button and um, adjust the size of it so it'll all fit. So I'm going to go down to the font size so that it'll all fit. You can change the color and you can actually change the font. I'm probably just going to keep it the same because it's pretty easy to read. So you apply it and then you click OK and that's done. Um, and I have one more text box. So I'm going to go to this one, click edit, and I'm going to go back to my Word document and... Um, add another a couple other facts. I'm going to copy it, go back to this. I'm going to delete that and then paste my facts. Oops. And I'm going to highlight it so I can um, change the font size because it's too big to read. So I'm going to um, go down to, let's see, Okay, and then I'm going to click apply, and I'm going to um, enter that down so you can see. And then I'm going to click OK because I'm done. Um, I'm just going to move a couple more things around. And um, a really good thing about Glogster is that um, you can share it to anybody you want, um, you know, across the world, across the country. And um, I think I'm done here. I think that looks good to me. So um, you can preview it. And that's how it will actually look when I'm done. Um, once you're done previewing, you click back to edit, and then you can um, save or publish once you're finished. And um, you can name it the glo name the blog, and I'm going to do dolphins. And then you can click a category, and I'm going to let's see. I'm going to do. environmental science and then you're going to click finished and save and publish and that is how you make a interactive poster through Glogster